All right, so we're going to be building the TT01D uh, drift chassis. Open the uh, main parts bag, and in here we're going to have uh, pretty much everything you need besides a lot of the well, the big plastic parts. So you have that uh, sport tune motor, shock pieces, differential pieces, motor heatsink, part bag B for shocks, part bag A. C and then some other random parts that's to hold the LEDs servo pieces and uh, we have some bearings start by assembling the uh, back diff or spur and that's going to be connected to the front and back axles Right, and put the uh, heat sink on the motor. Just turn the fins around to make sure that uh, it doesn't hit on both sides. And with that, there we're gonna put the motor mount. There's a little spacing gasket in between. I'm using a 19 turn, so it's gonna be the uh, straight up and down uh, pattern. Add some thread lock to the uh, grub screw and uh, put on the pinion gear. We have the uh, spur and motor uh, mount uh, hold. And we have the uh, back diff. So we put the main gear in. From there we have the three spiders we can put on top. Put grease in and uh, pack it up, close it off from the top. From there there's only one way that the uh, Diff closes up, tighten the three screws and you're done. So now from here we're going to tighten, there's a grub screw to hold the motor mount down to make sure it doesn't pop out. Drop uh, one of the plastic gears with uh, grease on to the main shaft. And grease up the uh, diff, slide that in there. And these are the upper A arms, control arms I guess you'd say. Put those together. So this is uh, the tedious stuff, just trying to tighten it off. I use the caliper to measure off. I'm pretty sure those were the 3.5 mil gap in between. Should give you a flat surface. Ball end screws on uh, both of the lower A arm for the shocks. Put the hinge pins through with the two plastic retainers. <clears throat> Same for both sides. And when we get ready to install these, we're going to have to grease both of the ends. They'll sit right underneath the uh, diff casing. Just like that. And then the top ones are held together with the uh, cross member. Grease the end of those as well. You're going to want to put the uh, long side inwards and the short side outwards. That way you have uh, no binding once the, the hub carriers are in there. Put the differential case. Screw that on. And then we have a chassis plate. You can put the two little metal uh, plates underneath. That screws into the chassis, which holds the diff together. Two uh, flathead, they're not flathead, but uh, flat screws at the bottom. And then you have uh, three retaining screws at the top of the diff. Alright, with the uh, axle carriers or the hub carriers, put the bearing in and just put the uh, spindle through. I'm just going to make sure that the uh, dog bone is inside the diff, then uh, just ready to secure the uh, hub carriers. Let's start assembling the front. That's the two piece for the uh, front A arm. I'm pretty sure that gap as well is 3.5. Once that it's uh, in, put uh, the opposite side through, and then there's a, a retaining pin that just needs to be pushed uh, through the uh, A arm to hold it all in one piece. All right, and that when I went, I just worked with the gap, made sure that we were tight on both sides. Alright, we're going to put the uh, 
ball in the end of the uh, A-arm where the uh, hub hair carrier is going to float. Grease those up as well. And we're going to put the hinge pins and the two retainers on both sides. Those again will need to be greased before put into the uh, diff casing. And the ball and screws. So this is the rear diff. I'm going to put some uh, grease on that uh, gear, drop it into the bottom of the diff case, assemble a spider, and the same with the last gear. Make sure you got some grease on there. And we're going to close up the diff. Three screws holding that. So we're going to put the plastic gear at the end of the uh, shaft uh, drive. We have two bearings, a spacer, and then the plastic gear at the end. Make sure to grease both sides, and then the same thing with the diff. Push that through. All right, and grease the ends of the A arms, and we're gonna put them into the diff case into the cross member up top. Close up the diff, and you have three screws at the top. All right, once those are in, you're ready to put the retainer. That gets screwed with two at the bottom and three in the top piece. Alright, and now we're going to go in with the hub carriers. Put the ball end screw at the end for the steering. Put the hubs through. Just grease up both of the uh, ends of the dog bones. Put that into the diff cup. And then the A-arms... Uh, connect to the hub. You have a long screw at the bottom and a shorter at the top for both sides. Alright and then we have the uh, shock assembly. So we're going to push the two rubber washers into the bottom. Thread the shaft through. And with the E-clip we're going to close it off and put the, uh, the spacer in between. Fill up the shock, make sure to get all the air bubbles out. Add a little bit more as needed, and then just the rubber diaphragm and close it off. Right, now we're going to put the uh, bottom cap, the screw, and then the uh, spring itself. We're we'll securing the body post mounts here. You need to do that before you go any further because then some of the uh, ball end. Uh, screws won't be able to to go back on without uh, taking them off to put that uh, body post in so you have two at the front at the top and two at the back that's going to be holding the top of the shocks All right i'm going to pinch on the shocks over the ball head screw all right those are in nice and secure just need a little bit of pressure to push them through. Do the same to the front. Turn it over and back onto the uh, lower A arm. Add the foam bumper and the bumper retainer. Two screws. And here we're going to put in the steering assembly. We have the two control arms. The ball end screws at uh, both ends. Put the little plastic retainer in, and then we have the uh, metal uh, spacers that go through the bottom, which will uh, the control arms will float on. So you're gonna thread those in with the Allen key, and then just screw on the metal cap above it. Connect the control arms and all the ball end uh, ball end caps. And your steering servo is pretty much ready to mount at this point. I'll start assembling the uh, steering and then go ahead and install the uh, servo saver. And with that in place, we're ready to put the uh, servo mounts.
And once the servo mounts are in place, all you need to do is turn over the chassis and you should have uh, two screws underneath just to tighten those up. Put the two-sided tape on my uh, brushless ESC. Take that in, make sure the capacitor is tucked away from all the moving parts. Do the same with my receiver and we're going to be setting it on top of the servo. Here we have a cross member piece here, stiffen up the chassis, put the antenna holder, thread everything through and then we're locked in. We have four screws at the back. Make sure to measure them out. I'm using my caliper again, wouldn't want to be pushing anything through the diff because some of those are quite long. And then the four at the back. Now we're going to be on to the tires. So we're going to push these through and then they're done like dinner. Put the bearing, the retainer pin, and then uh, screw on the uh, the wheel nut. There we have it, a complete build of the Tamiya TT01D. We have a Spectrum uh, receiver, the Hobbywing 90 amp uh, ESC, and a 5.5 turn motor. So the kit went together uh, pretty well. I'd have to say uh, maybe about six, six and a half hours.